Today I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm gonna go over my top five websites to find free graphic design resources. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is such an important topic that not a lot of people talk about in the right way, if that makes sense. There's so many things that you have to know and understand when you're looking for graphic design resources. Things like copyright. Um, can you use this certain font for this project? Are you gonna get in trouble if you use that font? So there's so many things to consider and really think about before you just go out and find free resources. But luckily for you guys, I'm gonna help you do that today. And if you guys ever wondered where I get my music, I get it from epidemicsound.com. I recently became an affiliate with them. So if you guys go sign up right now, I actually do get paid from that and it helps my channel out a lot. It helps me stay afloat. So uh, if you guys wanna do that and you need music, definitely check out Epidemic Sound below in the description. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys where I get some of my fonts. Now I do pay for some of my fonts, but some of them I do download for free. It's important to know what kind of rights you have to use the fonts that you download because some of them are free for personal use and some of them are free for commercial use as well. So you really have to understand the difference between both. Uh, free for personal use use obviously means that you can use it on your own projects. If you're designing something for a client, you're gonna want a font that is free for commercial use. That way you don't get in trouble when you use it. And that goes for other design resources as well, not just fonts. Um, you really have to understand what rights you have to the resource that you're downloading. One of the websites that I find my fonts on is called losttype.com. Now this is an incredible website. It's completely free to download these fonts. You can even donate if you want to, which I highly recommend. So let's go and click on fonts on the website and you can actually choose from so many different styles of fonts. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna find the font that you need on this website alone, but there are times where I just don't find the right font and I need to search other places on the internet. So um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and click on the first font here and I'm gonna show you guys what rights you have to use this font. As soon as you click on the font, you wanna go down to licensing and you really wanna pay attention to this section. It says here that you can purchase rights to it for $175 and that's for one to five users. So if you want a commercial license to use this font, it is gonna cost you $175. $75. So that's important to really note because if you use this on a client's project without paying for it, you might get in trouble. So it's important to really just pay attention to that. Um, obviously, you can use this for uh, personal use, but again, if you're using this on a client's project, I would definitely purchase rights to it. That way you stay out of legal trouble. Um, now there's ways around that. Obviously, if you download the font and customize it, obviously you can make it your own. But if you're using it as is, then you definitely might have issues if you're not paying for it. So um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. The second website I use to find my free fonts is called Behance and I use this one all the time. They have a huge gallery of fonts to choose from. Um, definitely check it out. I have the URL right here. It's kind of complicated. So if you want to pause the video right now, write it down or type it into your browser and save it as a bookmark or something, you can do that right now. Normally I'll go to losttype.com first and if I can't find the font I wanna use on that website, I go to this website right here. So it's kind of a great backup if I can't find what I want on losttype.com and sometimes I'll skip losttype.com and go straight to Behance because I always find what I want on Behance. So um, again, there's so many great fonts to choose from and if you're a designer watching this, it's so important to build this library of resources so you have it at your disposal, um, especially when you're working on a lot of projects, you're gonna need these resources to really help you out. I just went over the two websites I use to find my free fonts. Now I'm gonna talk about where I find my images. I absolutely love this next website I'm about to show you guys. I use it on so many different projects, so let's go and go to it. It's called unsplash.com, so let's type that in, unsplash. Oops, that's not it, unsplash.com. And the reason why I use Unsplash on some of my projects is because you have full rights to use the images on this website. That means you have free personal use and commercial use to use these images, meaning you won't get in trouble, which is always a relief. So anyway, if you go to this website, you can download so many different images. Let's type in, let's say tree. Um, let's say we're looking for a tree, why not? So when you type in tree, a bunch of images are gonna pop up under that keyword tree. So many talented photographers submit their photos on this website for you to use completely free. So it's honestly incredible and they deserve a shout out. So if you have extra time on your projects, it's always important to go follow the photographer. If you click on a photo, you can actually see who took it. So this photo was taken by Jack Ward. So it's really important to um, follow them and just tell them how amazing their photo was. So let's say you're looking for a specific vector image of an owl or a wolf or any other animal, you could go to this website called freepick.com. Let's go ahead and go to it. When you click on a graphic, you can actually go to the license here and it actually is free for commercial use, but with attribution. So let's say you wanna use this on a client's project. You actually are free to do that, but you have to link freepick.com every time you use this graphic. Now, let's say you don't wanna do that. You could just subscribe to their service and you don't have to um, add any attribution at all. So um, it might be worth it to sign up to their subscription. It's completely up to you guys, but I know that if I'm doing something for 
a client, I don't have time to be linking freepick.com every time I use this graphic, so I would probably pay for their service. This next one you guys probably heard of, it's called envato.com. Now, I use this one all the time because they have incredible resources. They have things like Photoshop brushes, um, textures, uh, images, fonts, so many different things are on this website. So really, if you're looking for something, this is the way to go. Um, if you go to products, you can actually choose Envato Market, and that's the one that I use all the time for my graphic resources, so let's go and go there. Once you go to Envato Market, you can go to the graphic section and then type in whatever you wanna look for. Let's say we wanna look for a dog. Let's just type in dog. I like this one right here. Let's just pretend like I like this one. Now, these ones are actually not free, but if you pay for them, you actually do own rights to that graphic that you paid for, um, and they're fairly cheap. This one's only $4 so I can add this to a cart or I can buy it now. If you're working on a client's project and they paid you money for it, then you can probably justify spending $4 on a graphic that might help your project out and get it to the final stages. So it's totally worth it, but uh, this is definitely one of the resources that I use a lot as well. I definitely use FreePick more than anything because I feel that it's worth your money, especially since it's a subscription and you don't have to worry about buying individual images. But if you're looking for something that you can't find on freepick.com, this website might have it for you. So definitely check check out Envato. It's important to know when you need design resources and when you don't need them because it's not good to always use them, but they're good to have if that makes sense. Um, for instance, if I get hired by a client to create an illustration, I'm gonna draw that myself. I don't need to go find a photo to do that. I can just do it myself and I'm gonna take more pride in my work if I do it that way. But um, there are times where I can't draw certain things and I need to go find a design resource in order to finish that project up or whatever. So it's very, very rare that happens because most of the time I'll learn to draw some Something that I'm working on but like I said there are those times where something's really complicated and I need to go find something for that project so anyway it's good to know when you need them and when you don't need them anyway that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I'm so stoked to be back and I cannot wait to make more videos for you guys if you guys liked what you saw today make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button on this video it helps my videos out a lot and also subscribe if you guys aren't already I would love to see new faces guys keep creating Keep being awesome. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Came through tripping Aquafina. I'm sipping 15. Kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches. I'm on my, my business. Stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Crew in the cut. A hey, you want us to run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Love is love.